Hey guys, it's Julia here and I'm making a quick video to talk about Windows 11 version 23H2. Now this came out about two days ago as they released this on Halloween. I was busy and couldn't make a video the past couple days, but I thought I'd make a video now. I know I am a little late and usually I'm uploading on the day of, but this is a little different. So Windows 11 version 23H2 just came out and added some new features. In this video, I'm gonna briefly say what they are and how to get it. So essentially the main point to this, I already read this article, but they added Windows Copilot, they added a new file explorer and redesigned it to look different with, you know, it still has the tabs, but the actual bar looks different. And they also added the Windows Backup app, which is probably something I'm not gonna use, honestly. They changed stuff with the taskbar, such as you can have labels now on your taskbar. There's now a volume mixer in the sound panel, and you can now support 7-zips and, and RAR files, which I think is pretty cool because now you don't need to worry about installing like a third-party app like 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever people use, which personally I use 7-zip, but people don't need to actually do that anymore necessarily to be able to access these files, which is pretty cool. And also you can customize RGB and settings now without third-party apps. Paint got an upgrade with dark mode and it just looks better. And then stuff with widgets. I don't really know much about that. And then stuff with dev, some dev app that is now introduced, I guess with GitHub and stuff and yeah. So this is the article, I'll link it in the description. I feel like a lot of this also got added to 22H2 in an optional update, because I remember the last optional update that they had actually added like Copilot and stuff. Maybe it was one before, I don't know. It was one of the optional updates. So 22H2 might have honestly gotten the features if you did the optional update, but it still doesn't hurt to get 23H2 because you know, longer support and maybe not everything was added. But you know, Microsoft just tells you how to get it and they pretty much say to go to Windows Update and to... So Microsoft pretty much tells you to go to Windows Update and check to get the latest updates as soon as they're available box. But we'll see what it does for us. This VM I know for a fact is out of date. So I'm gonna launch it. And while I'm launching it, I'll show you another thing. You could also go to the Windows 11 download page, but keep in mind since 23H2 is an enablement package, you're honestly better off going through Windows Update instead of using the ISO because it'll be a lot quicker if you just go through Windows Update, but if Windows Update isn't giving you 23H2, you could either wait or you could just in place with the ISO or the installation assistant. And obviously this just is the MCT to create installation media. There's no upgrade option on the MCT anymore. That got removed ever since 11 was a thing. So. Of course, it's doing this. We, of course, we got WWA host. Yeah, just remind me later. I'm going to, all right, I'm back. So we're gonna go to Windows Update. You can see it's already checking for updates and we already have this checked, I guess, from before. So it's probably just gonna start downloading 23H2 immediately, I bet, because I have that toggle on. But if it's not showing up for you, just enable this toggle and it should show up. But I do find the features interesting. Oh wow, we're not actually getting it. That's really surprising. I wonder if it's because we're out of date because this VM is out of date. This could be why we're not getting it is because this VM is out of date. It's not been powered on in a little while. So I'm going to just let this update and I'll come back. All right, so we are back and we're going to go back to settings. You can see I already have like this new homepage that's in 23H2 even though it hasn't updated to 23H2 yet. So let's just go to Windows Update again and see if it shows up. I don't know how, but it seems like we already have some of the features, even though we're not on 23H2, which is kind of strange. Let's see, do we have the new paint? We do. Okay, that is very strange because I know for a fact we're not. I don't know why I typed it again, but we are on 22H2. And yet we have the features. I don't know if it's because I have this thing checked and maybe it's doing that or maybe this is on Insider somehow. No, this is not on Insider, but yet it says please wait and it's checking. That's so weird. But you could see here that we're still on 22H2 and I see some of the new features already. I also see Copilot down here. 
which exists as well. So I'm really confused about the 23H2 release. I don't main Windows 11, so I don't know a lot about it necessarily. And I can't even launch Copilot. Like, it doesn't even work. We have some unused printers. That's weird. I've never seen that message before. I'm going to let this sit and see what happens. All right, so I came back after a bit and realized that apparently it tried to install a cumulative update preview and failed with some error. So I'm just gonna retry it again. Maybe something went wrong, I don't know, but it's still not giving us 23H2, which I find kind of strange. So let's just see what happens. All right, so I had to go do more stuff, but it completed this update. So I'm gonna reboot and hopefully after this, we'll be able to get 23H2. Okay, so we are back again. So we're going to go back to Windows Update once again. I don't know what's going on with this VM. Before we click check, I'm just gonna open WinVer again. So you could see we're on, I believe the latest, actually latest. We just don't have 23H2. So I'm really hoping that once I click check, this is actually going to work for once because I'm trying to get this to upgrade for so long now. And it just is like, oh yeah, let's just not show the update. Yeah, isn't that great? I actually hope it shows the update this time. Oh, thank goodness it's here. Okay, good. So we are finally getting 23H2 after what feels like an eternity. So I'm glad that I'm finally able to update this VM to the latest version of 11. So this will install quick if you're fully up to date. And in my scenario, I am fully up to date. So this update should not take long. It's just an enablement package, just like with Windows 10. So yeah, how on Windows 10, they always used to do enablement packages after 2004. Well, they're now doing enablement packages on 11, it seems. I mean, I know 21H2 to 22H2 is a full upgrade, but it seems like 22H2 to 23H2 is just an enablement package. Therefore, it'll install the update very quickly and it'll have the features, even though it seems like we already have a lot of the features here. But I'm not entirely sure why that is. If any of you guys have ideas, you could leave comments. That's if my comment section works because on my last video, it, they kept getting disabled for some reason. I don't know, it was being stupid. It still is doing it. So my apologies for that. But as you can see, we are installing and let's just see how long this takes. Looks like we're about done. Yep, we're about done. I didn't realize I stopped the recording, but it was on zero for like a minute or so. And then it finally jumped up to 20, 40, 70, 90, 100, and now it wants to reboot. And that was actually very quick because it's just an enablement package. So we're going to reboot and then we should have the update from there. So this is just a quick video on how to update and basically announcing it so people are aware that the update is available. I'm still running Windows 10 for now since I use LTSC, but I know some people out there that are on Windows 11 and I'm still debating when I'm gonna upgrade to 11. I haven't decided yet because 10 has been working fine for my use case. So I've just decided to stay on 10 personally. I don't really have a real reason to upgrade other than if I want some of the new features, but yeah. So we are signing in. That was very quick and we'll just double check. I'm not gonna go over all the new features in the VM itself. I've already announced what they were, but yeah, you can see here, we are on 23H2 and it's build 22631 instead of build 22621. So they actually changed the two to a three here and it's still the same dot number because we already fully updated the VM beforehand because it wasn't even giving the update until we did for whatever reason. But yeah, anyways, that is Windows 11 version 23H2. Go back to settings and yeah, it's completed. And we check for updates again. I've had this VM for a while, so it's probably going to have some update history on here. Well, it doesn't show 22H2 because I think I used the ISO for that. Anyways, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think of 23H2 down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.